Well, hey there from a snowy day here in Colorado. And snowy days in Colorado mean no outside playtime. It's way better to stay inside, catch a movie, catch up on your favorite shows, or watch a big game. Now, here's the big problem that I want to address today, and that is a digital antenna and how to install it. Our normal antenna goes downstairs, and quite frankly, what we ran into this winter when the football games were on was a lot of people would be downstairs wanting to watch one game down there, and a few of us upstairs would want to watch another game. Well, you have an independent TV that doesn't have a directly connected cable line. So what we're going to do today is take this Vizio TV. This is an older uh, model Vizio. It's the A320 series. And we're going to be installing a digital antenna onto it. Now I have this guy right here. You can see it's super, super thin. This is a really cool model. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this so you can get a little more information. And then we're going to do an install. So stick around. I think this is going to be a really helpful episode. All right, today we are doing an unboxing and review video for the Aldeo digital TV antenna. It's transparent, which is a pretty cool feature. Okay, so we're just gonna open up the, uh, the standard uh, packaging box here. And it looks like there's another box inside for protection. So nothing super sturdy, but it is good enough to protect. So you can, as you can see, it's, um, yeah, it's got this protective kind of sealant around it that you can, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off. You can see it just comes across like that. And there's one on either side. But you can see this thing is really, really super, super thin, you know, like a piece of paper. Okay, it also comes with a little USB adapter and a wall socket uh, adapter for the USB that goes into your, your wall socket. That's gonna give power to your digital adapter. And basically the USB will plug in right here on the side that gives you power to your antenna booster. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is take the digital TV antenna booster and get some power into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this directly into, this is the USB power adapter, directly into the booster. And for lack of the a power cord length, which is one of the, the downsides to the, uh, the size of this cable, I'm actually just gonna plug this directly into my MacBook Pro USB port. Now once I do that, you can see that power is now coming into the booster. One of the other things you can do if your TV supports it is actually plug it directly into the USB port and that will give you power. Okay, so right now we're looking at the back of our TV. And most modern TVs are gonna have a very similar setup. As you can see, there's an HDMI plug-in, Ethernet plug-in for wired internet. You have your normal composite video plug-ins, your left and right audio plug-ins, and then the cable antenna plug-in right here. And this is the guy we're really interested in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the antenna booster, which I have plugged in, and I'm just gonna plug it directly into that cable antenna. Okay, once you have the antenna booster plugged into the TV, you can then take the female end of the digital antenna and connect it to the other end of your digital booster. I'm just gonna snap those two in together really quickly and there you go. Okay, now that we have our digital antenna connected, I'm gonna go ahead and use these suction cups that came in the plastic baggie and I'm actually gonna be mounting this on the window right here in the studio. Now have the digital antenna mounted, you can see it's really flush with the window, very easy to mount if that's how you want to use it, or you can use the screws that come along to mount it to the wall. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see how she works. Okay, you can see the TV is fired up. Go ahead and make sure your input is on TV. Okay, once your antenna is plugged in, you may have to do a channel scan if you're setting up a TV for channels for the first time. You can usually find this in your TV settings. As you can see, it's cruising along, usually takes roughly up to uh, three or four minutes, depending on how many channels and how fast your TV is. I'm just gonna flip through a few of the channels here and look for the HD channels. You can see the picture looks good and uh, looks like the antenna's working great. For final expenses, such as funeral. I was so proud of you guys because of how good you were and not every toy can win and we had to go over them. So I can sit here and watch some Judge Judy or a game or you know anything else that uh, may be available on the free HD channels. There you go, hopefully this has helped folks. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, we got more tech 
Mac and iPhone type tutorials coming up very soon.